Coach, just your general assessment of this Mississippi State offense that you're going to face. Well, they're, they're a very physical team. They run the ball really well. Um, their quarterbacks are big, and they run them well. Um, I've been very impressed with that. Uh, Colin Hill is an excellent running back. He's quick and powerful. Um, reminds me a little bit of 22 um, from LSU, except he's a little bit taller. Uh, but he's that type of quickness, and you see him make people miss. Um, I've been very, very impressed. And their offensive line, is, is, is they're, they're huge. <laughs> There's some big, big guys up there, and they do a good job. Um, and then number uh, – their receivers, one, two, and five, have been able to make plays. Um, five and one are extremely tall, seem very athletic. So I've been impressed with them. Your first Egg Bowl, what's kind of your thoughts, impressions going mm -hmm. into this week? This is actually my fifth Egg Bowl. Fifth Egg Bowl. Yes, so I, that's okay. I was here before with Coach Cutcliffe. Um, you know, the, the Egg Bowl is, um, it's, you know, I've been a lot of different uh, places, coached a lot, been played in a lot of different rivalries, that type of thing. Um, to me, this is one of the most fierce rivalries, especially when I was here before. Um, I remember the first time we played in it, they had policemen lined off the 50-yard line and lined it because the year before they had a big fight. And, uh, I mean, we couldn't even get out, and it was pretty amazing how uh, uh, um, feisty and aggressive it was, and not only on the field but in the stands and everywhere else. Um, so I'm expecting the exact same thing um, when we go down there, very physical, feisty, um, kind of crazy atmosphere. That's what I've been used to the first four times I was in it. Um, I didn't uh, – well, I guess I did know about that. I didn't, th the ones they had before us was like a pregame fight. I mean, it was a big deal. It was a mess. And uh, um, so, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a testy deal. And uh, I know both teams will be ready to play and excited about playing. I was going to ask about that. What do you tell your players to kind of handle them and make sure that feistiness doesn't spill over like it did last year? Yeah, um, well, you, you always talk to your guys all the time about, uh, about them playing in between the whistles. Nothing good happens after the whistles. It's kind of like nothing good happens after midnight, you know, as you were your parent telling your kids. Um, but you, we have, have, have talked about that. Um, Coach Luke's talked about it. Um, and you've got to make sure that you have to stay – both teams in between the plays, in between them uh, when the play is going on, they both got to be fierce and they both got to be physical. Um, but when the play is over, you want to separate and, and play ball and keep your head cool. So – that's what we need to do, and um, I imagine that's what Mississippi State's telling their guys also for sure, um, and hopefully that it's a really good game um, when the play is going on, uh, but not after the whistles. Uh, does having played uh, LSU's Hilaire recently help you guys prepare for Hill? Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, I sure hope it does. I hope we um, – tackle him a little bit better than um, we did Hilaire, but he's, uh, he's doing that to everybody. Um, and, and, you know, and so is Hill. Hill is, I think, Hill, is he, is he the leading rusher? I know he was the leading rusher in SEC for, is he still? Right, I know they've been, okay, he is. And he's an excellent player. We're going to have to do the same thing we tried to do um, against, um, at, at LSU, is you have to corral, he's going to make people miss. You've got to get the second and third guy there. That's the key. And then when you have open field tackles, you got to make them um, when you have your opportunities. But you have, to, you have to corral him and understand where he is, and he's a really, really good running back. Just on the emotions and the temperament of the players, uh, how do you kind of handle that being up in the box? Uh, well, I can stay calmer, <laughs> me, myself. Uh, no, you know, we've, our coaching staff does a great job with that. Um, we have all our full time besides me down there. Um, and uh, they do a great job with our guys. So we have a coach at, it's in, at every position. Um, so you have hands, eyes, um, being able to talk to them, um, be around them, and uh, so that would be a key component of it. But it's, you know, how we talking to them in practice during the week. And all year long we've had, we really had one incident um, that hurt us with an after play situation. And uh, so we haven't had a history of that. Our kids have been able to handle themselves well after the whistle. So hopefully we keep doing that. Coach, you had the extra time, and through the years you might see a new wrinkle in this particular game. Do you have time to do anything of that nature, or, or you just really want to do what We've you do We've got best? multiple wrinkles. We've, we've put in a whole new defense. <laughs> uh, the, um, 
you no, know, you have time to look at them a little bit. You have time to look at yourself a little bit. Um, and um, But at this time in the year, it's hard to change a lot of different things. You're going to do what you do. Uh, but you always have a few wrinkles in there. They'll have a few wrinkles in theirs. I'm pretty sure they, I'm pretty sure on their open week, whenever they had theirs a couple weeks ago, they practiced for us a little bit because we would have done the same thing if we hadn't had an open week with a, this short a week. That's what we used to do with Coach Cut. I know we would have done the same thing with Coach Luke. Um, so I imagine they have some um, things ready, um, just like we will. And um, but it's going to come down to the same old football, blocking and tackling and and competing and being in the right position and and uh, being able to think under pressure. So hopefully we can do that um, better than they can.